We're going to talk about this important joint venture in great detail coming up. But Dr. Munjal, I would be remiss not to ask you how things are going in India. The top story there has been this week, uh, the massive surge in number of new COVID cases and right. the fact that you've had to close down some of your uh, production capabilities. Can you just give us an update? When will you be back online and what is going to be the material impact of these closures? Um, well, Stephen, you, you rightly did point out that the situation in India right now is, shall I say, dire. All across the country, the number of positive cases coming up every day has now gone up beyond the 300,000 numbers. And also, unfortunately, there are deaths occurring every day. What is happening here on the ground is that with these large numbers, the health system, unfortunately, is not being able to cater to these large numbers. The number of beds available are not there. The patients are having to wait. Oxygen is in short supply, medical oxygen, which is becoming a big issue. While vaccination has taken off already, and we have a large number of people vaccinated, yet the size, scale, yep. and the population of this country is so huge that we will have to really fasten and hasten up this process. Thankfully, the government has already announced from the 1st of May, 18 plus can now get vaccinated. We at our end, as Hero Motor Corp, have already started our own vaccination drive. We vaccinated now close to 90% of our population, which is 45 plus, And we are also vaccinating their families. From 1st of May, we will start vaccinating yep. the 18 plus. Yes, we have Dr. shut Munjal, down. Dr. Munjal, yeah. Yes. I mean, how does that impact forward planning in joint ventures like what you're doing with GoGoRo? This is obviously going to be a paradigm shift, uh, at least hopeful for the India market to move into EV vehicles. But it's coming at a time. I mean, it's obviously two different stories coming on at the same time. You have the pressure of the COVID and the economic pressure, but then the opportunity long term to make a paradigm shift to EVs. Well, Stephen, uh, it's about lives and livelihood. While we are all very concerned about safety and welfare of everyone, all, all our colleagues, the population in the country, we also have to be concerned about the economy and the livelihood. So life has to go on. While we have shut down temporarily for four days because our sales outlets are shut, there's no point in us going on manufacturing and stockpiling inventories at our end, at the dealer's end, which is why this temporarily shut down. We will take a call once we open once again after the four days. Having said that, now this pandemic, of course, will come to an end sometime soon. There are so many efforts being made all across the nation by the central government, by the state government, and all the health authorities concerned, including corporates. So I'm very hopeful that things would get better. There's so much happening right now. Now, we as the leader in the two-wheeler space across the globe, the, the largest player for two-wheelers now for 20 consecutive years. So as a leader, I have to take the lead. We have to take the lead to move towards sustainable electric mobility. We are responsible to clean up the air around us and leave good air for our future generation. So we've clearly taken a call. There's a lot of work going on at Hero in our R&D, developing electric products, scooters, and motorcycles. We've invested in Aether Energy in Bangalore, already in production. We have our own startup, yep. which is also working on electric products. And now this strategic partnership with Gogoro and Horace Luke, which to my mind will be a game changer. Well, let me bring it. Let me, it's a game changer. Let me bring in Horace. Good to see you. I was there in Taipei and rode one of your scooters three years ago. A lot has probably changed in your uh, business, but how important is it for a company like yours, uh, which is just 10 years old, uh, to break out of the Taiwan market and have a partner like Hero? How important is it to Gogoro for India 
uh, right now? Well, it, you know, we've always seen, you know, the idea of electric mobility and the positive effect it has on the environment. But in order for it to really have impact, we need EV to be massively adopted, especially in mega cities around the world where millions of people are living on top of each other. That's where the tethered plug-in charging business model doesn't work. And Stephen, given you were in Taipei before, you've seen you know, the, the lack of EV adoption before GoGo came in about five years ago. And today we have hundreds of thousands of customers and over 10% market share in the entire two wheel space where customers are just swapping in six seconds. Six seconds, you get a full charge. You don't have to worry, worry about where you're gonna park. Don't have to worry about where, you know, whether or not you're gonna get full battery or not. You know, you just go swap it in seconds, move on. That has been a big game changer in Taiwan. And over the last couple of years, we've been getting everything ready. And this relationship and this strategic partnership with Dr. Manjal and Hero is really everything that we've been planning for. We have got to make EV accessible, affordable, super easy to use to the, for the masses so that we can actually change the world to become better, to be healthier. And I think well, this, that this is, is just the beginning this is of a question. electrifying India. Yeah, well, this is a question to both you and Dr. Munjal is, what has kept India from going electric? Is it the price point? Uh, is it the infrastructure, the charging infrastructure? And how are you going to get the government on board to perhaps give more incentives if that's what is needed? Uh, maybe, Horace, you can answer that first, and then Dr. Munjal, if you want to follow up for the local angle. I think it's really a chicken and egg question. We have to have a vehicle that is easy to use, affordable, no compromise against the gas vehicle that the, the customer is using today. So that has to be, you know, you have, you have to change the game a little bit, chicken and egg. Is the infrastructure going to come before a vehicle that is affordable is being made? Well, in our particular case, we don't sell the battery. The business model is that the customer simply subscribe to the battery. Battery as a service to the customer reduces the cost of the vehicle. And then at the same time, the customer helps pay fractionally for that infrastructure and the use of the infrastructure through every, you know, every kilometer, kilometer they ride. So this has really helped us create a very unique, dynamic, brand new business model that lifted the Taiwan, I would say, penetration of EV in a very, very rapid way. And we're looking forward to do that in India. Dr. Mujal, of course, there is going to be competition. Ola Electric Mobility is going to have their own uh, e-scooter coming soon. I think they want 15% of the market uh, fairly quickly by the end of next year. They're building a big super mega factory is what they're calling it. Um, how, how are you going to, you know, continue your dominance in two-wheelers in India in the e-scooter space when the infrastructure is probably lacking? Uh, Stephen, let me let me start from a little uh, <clears throat> early on. With our uh, IC engines, with all the scooters and motorcycles that we've been producing on a regular basis, we've been moving to very very stringent exhaust emission norms year after year after year, and that clearly has brought down the emissions from our products. Yet. The air in India, the air in Delhi, et cetera, is quite polluted, not only because of the automobiles, but because of various other reasons. Having said that, now it is time for us to move to electrification, to get rid of any and all emissions. You're right. Right now, the infrastructure does not exist, but it is the heroes, the Olas, and the other companies who will create this infrastructure. Of course, we would want the government support, government's backing, and the government is very keen to move to electrification. There already is a scheme, FAME 2, and I'm sure going forward, we will discuss with the government to bring in even more schemes to be able to support the consumers to buy their two-wheelers at an affordable price. And we are going to go in for We're right. mass sales for our bikes. Very quickly, gentlemen, when are we going to get your first e-scooter in the India market under the Hero Gogo Road brand? I'll start off first. Uh, I've been saying this now for two days, that both me and Horace are 
two men in a real hurry. Now that we've signed our partnership on the 21st, just a day before the Earth Day, now we are going to really start sprinting. Our teams are already huddled together, making plans for the future. Work going on in India, work going on in Taiwan. Um, I would say, I'm going to ask my teams to work and make sure that within 12 months, we have our products out.